If they want to give us something to talk about, let's talk about it. In-laws. My in-laws. <laughs> Gabrielle Union. Baby, I love you. And bring it on. Girl, you was you were my ISIS. You were my ISIS. Gabrielle in real life, you talk too goddamn much. Okay. You talking way too much about your personal life. You got you got diarrhea of the mouth, honey. Like Miss Jada Waiter Pickett Smith over there. <laughs> Gabby, I just cannot co-sign this bullshit that you got going on. I cannot co I cannot co-sign this 50-50 shit that you got going on. Now, for anybody that's been living under a rock, Gabrielle Union was down to the radio station or wherever she was at podcasting and talking about her personal life, and she told us a little bit too much. Thanks of security and that the work is coming and I just, as long as I keep knocking it out, there's gonna be more and there isn't this sort of sense of the rug is going, could, could still be pulled out. I struggle with that still, just because I think I just have more responsibilities, you know, for my money. It's weird to say I'm head of household because in this household, we split everything 50-50, but in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, you better work, you better work. Somebody might not eat, you know, come on, you better work. And it's hard, it's hard to let that go. This, this is a conversation I have with my girlfriends, okay? I do have girlfriends that go 50-50 with their men, or they feel like there's nothing wrong with building with the men, you know, building together and, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem with building with my husband. Um, but we do differ when it comes to like 50-50 on finances, okay? And because this is such a topic that's so near and dear to my heart, I got up, I washed my face, I brushed my teeth, and I kept on my granny gown, okay? Because it's my, mm, honey, I didn't even put a bra on, honey. My titty is this. Swinging. so i could come and make this video because when i heard this shit this morning when i watched shout out to big mouth media because i just enjoy listening to big mouth media i really do he's he's he got a big mouth he is loud but i love it he's in color it's great so check him out on youtube follow him big mouth media and let him know that Real Housewives Unlimited sent you his way. Anyway, so I was after I listened to that that clip, I was just like, I gotta talk about it because that's why this is Real Housewives Unlimited. Like, yes, my main focus is the Real Housewives franchise, but I purposely left it unlimited so we could we could, you know, branch out from the Bravo franchise so we can talk about everything under the scope of housewives, real housewives. And this real housewife, this real life housewife, Miss Gabrielle Union, once again has been caught with her head up her ass and her foot in her mouth. And you know what? Let me rewind. It's not even that we are upset. I mean, some of us might be upset that she's paying 50-50. And, I, you know, just I'm old school. Like, I was raised by my grandma, you know, when my mom passed. I was raised by my grandma, my great-aunt, and my great-grandma. My great-grandma just turned 96 last week. My grandmother is in her 70s. My great-aunt is in her 60s. Like, these are old school women. So, I am raised with old school women whom for the most part had to take care of their own households but they didn't want to have to they just did what they had to do because that's just how life turns out but we are not i wasn't raised i was not raised to be in the business of getting married to pay 50 percent of my way i just was not raised with that mindset 
okay? If you're getting married, your husband, your husband, and now this is just how, this is how, look, I'm only speaking for myself, so I'm going to speak for myself, and I'm going to comment on Gabby, okay? When I get married, I intend to leave my family's home, because I still live with family, okay? I still live with family, but if I'm leaving my family's home, the comfort of, I am comfortable, okay? I don't have to pay big bills. I just have to take care of myself and contribute in some way, shape, or form, okay? That is all my family is asking of me. My family is of the mindset that they are not going to be here forever, okay? And they're older, they are older, so they know they're not going to be here forever. They may leave me something, but I have to be able to stand on my own two feet. And in order for me to do that in this high-ass day and age of inflation and $5 packs of gum, like, in order for me to do that, they are giving me the opportunity to save my money so I can have something when I am married, when I am off with my husband. But they also expect me to marry a man that can provide for me because honestly, that is what my family is doing for me right now. They are providing for me shelter. I mean, I, I take care of my own food and clothing and all that other stuff like that. But if I ever get behind or if I ever need help, I know they're there to help me. I have that that safety net and that's what marriage is supposed to be. well traditionally that's what marriage is supposed to be like a, a girl leaves her home to then be under her husband because her husband is then supposed to take care of that responsibility so when i leave this house i'm leaving Lord's will, I'm leaving as a married woman and my husband will take care of those, the providing and protecting for me, you know, and then that will no longer be the responsibility of my family. That's so let me just, so I just need to let y'all know, this is where I'm coming from. Now don't come to me in the comments talking about that's archaic and honestly, I don't give a fuck. Okay. That's what's work. That's that, that is what works for me. And my family. Okay. So. To hear Gabrielle. At the, at the end of the day. We all have a choice of who we marry. You marry. Whoever you marry is the person you chose. You chose. I'm sure they showed you everything that you needed to know about them. And if you still chose to marry them, then you, you we can't blame Dwayne. We can't. We can't blame Dwayne and we can't blame anybody else. This is who Gabrielle chose. And I think the reason why it's so hard for us to grasp this idea that Gabrielle Union is married to an NBA legend who didn't squander his money. I mean, they live a fabulous lifestyle. He's worth millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. And she, in her own right, is worth millions of dollars. And they are both working A-listers. Like, they're not just, like, in, hidden in obscurity. Like, these are... They got commercials out the ass. They they are partnering with partnering with all these different brands. So they're making money. And I think that's a part of this scarcity mindset that she discusses in that interview. She's always feeling like, okay, if I if I don't work, then somebody else is not gonna eat, which is something we're gonna discuss later on in the video. But as of right now, the things that she's saying. We, in our everyday people life mentalities, we cannot grasp what she's saying for a few reasons. And let's, let's talk about it. For number one, you have the funds. Your man has the funds. 
coming from someone like me, I'm thinking, okay, your man is taking care of the bills. And of course, as a woman who allows her man to take care of the the finances, and I'm not saying you don't have to be there to be like, you know, checking up on the finances. Like, I'm not saying go into this being stupid and dumb and just let, allowing your man to take care of all the finances and you don't have any kind of say so or like hand in it because that's just stupid that's just not smart but if your man is making is providing and protecting then you know as a woman we have to relinquish some control now i don't know if this is something for her where she feels like okay i don't ever want to be in a situation where you know i let the land pay for everything and you know what I'm saying? I haven't been acting. I haven't been working. And I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm struggling financially. I don't know. I don't know if she went into this thinking like, I don't ever want to be that woman who had to depend on a man because then my finances are in jeopardy and I might lose everything. But you're with a man who doesn't pay everything. You are paying 50-50. And you still have that scarcity mindset. You are, you still have that mindset like, oh my God, I have to work. If I don't work, then people are going to not eat, which is crazy to me. One of the best things that my uncle ever taught me, and this was a lesson I had to learn recently, was about the black tax. And basically, you finally reach this pinnacle of success, finance, whatever. And so you feel like you have to bring those people up with you. You have to give and give yourself because people poured into you. So you have to then pour into other people. And that mindset can get us in situations that many celebrities are in. Even Cardi B talks about still, ha you know, having to pay for or take care of multiple households and this, that, and the third. And my thing is this before you made it to where you were they were taking care of themselves on top of that it's just unrealistic i don't care what lifestyle you live you know unless you're a billionaire then you got it like that but as as big mouth media said if you're living this millionaire lifestyle this millionaire million dollar lifestyle then the other people you taking care of can also live that million dollar lifestyle it's just not going to work. For instance, if I pay off my grandmother's home, my grandmother probably is going to be happy with that. Like she's probably, she might, ex if I, if and when I become a multimillionaire, she's probably going to expect a nice car, her home to be paid off and a little bit of funds here and there. But I, I don't even think she's going to expect it. I'm sure she's hoping for that. But I'm going to take care of her. And it's okay to extend that to your parents or the people that raised you and took care of you. They took care of you. You take care of them. That is the trade-off of life. It happens for everybody. However, if you're taking care of aunts and uncles and cousins, and stuff, what are they doing? What are they doing to take care of themselves? I mean... Is it a situation where, like, Sonya Richards Ross, which I think is a bad idea, but is it like Sonya where she employs her family and that's how everybody is eating? Because I also think that's a recipe for disaster. Now, if I'm in a better place, you know, socially and financially, then my way of helping you eat, and it's just me personally, but my way of helping you eat is getting you connected with people who can who can extend that 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 meal ticket. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not gonna eat off of me. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to the people who can help you eat on your own, and that's how I feel like this shit should go. But yeah, I guess it don't go like that for everybody. This is what this is why I think Gabrielle has gone viral with this stuff this is why i think gabrielle broke the motherfucking internet when she told us that she was paying 50 50 with Dwayne Wade. it's the fact that we have seen you be dogs out in this motherfucking relationship let's talk about it
okay? Let's talk about it. Because, yes, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, they had the fairy tale wedding. I watched it. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. But at what price did that come? Like, you guys were together for years, and then you broke up. And this was before he proposed. Like he, he, this was before, you know, I'm saying you got the ring. Y'all broke up. He had a baby on you during the breakup. So y'all were supposed to be separated. And while y'all were supposed to be separated, I guess, thinking about what it is that y'all wanted to do together and in your lives, he went out, fucked somebody else, got them pregnant. So then you had yet another child added to the fold which we don't even really hear about. On top of that, you had to deal with Dwayne Wade and his crazy baby mama drama and the situation involving his kids. And you're still dealing with his baby mother in some capacity because she's in the blogs talking about how you keep her out of things concerning her child. And you also play this big role in her son transitioning into a girl. So she's dragging you through the media. Like you're dealing with that on top of the fact that you admitted to us some years back that you eat his ass. So it's just kind of like, girl, you are not winning. Is this what winning looks like? Cause I don't want it. <laughs> like you dealing with an outside baby you had to do surrogacy to have your own child with your husband. You had to deal with people saying, oh, this is your karma and stuff like that because you ruined a happy home, which might not even be the case, but the narrative is out there. So you have to deal with that narrative on top of the fact that you pay 50% of the bills to eat this man's ass. You are, you are paying 50% of your way every month to eat your husband's ass girl this is not what winning looks like so that's why for us for the consumer this is why for us we not buying this shit we can't i can't co-sign this shit this is a car loan i don't want this is something i can't i can't jump on and i think that's why this is so hard for us to grasp and the only reason why we know about it is because you keep running that mouth you telling too much of your business. It's okay. It's okay for people to live in their truth. It's okay for people to be honest with their fans and transparent in interviews. That's okay. But we have just seen so many of your losses in the public eye. That this is just yet another check to the reasons why we don't subscribe to become Gabrielle Union. And that's crazy because she is such a pillar. Well, she has been such a strong force for young black girls like myself who saw her coming up. And she's beautiful and she's successful. And I just feel like Dwayne... I feel like you have sacrificed and compromised way too much to be with this man. And again, that's where it goes back to it's what you chose. You chose this this spouse. You chose this lifestyle. You chose to do this 50-50 thing. And that's what works for you, girl, because ain't none of us who are commenting on your life paying any of your bills and we for damn sure wouldn't pay any of his bills so but when you put your life out there like that you're you are inviting the criticisms and that's just how it goes that's the trade-off for this whole famous this fame and fortune and all that stuff that's just one of those trade-offs but girlfriend Keep your mouth closed. Like, stop telling everybody your business, girl. We just want to see you act and drink wine and sell books and 
We like seeing you and Dwayne in the commercials. It's exciting. It's like, oh, black love. But girl, I can't even look at you and think black love. Like, I don't look at you and Dwayne and, and, and feel aspired to be like y'all. Because I'm just like, the ghetto. I can't get with that. I can't get with that. Either way, good luck to you, girl. Um, There's, you know, you might need to cut some family members off, though. Because... It sounds like a using kind of situation, you know, like, I don't know what this family member situation is. I don't know if they're disabled. I don't know if they're elderly. I don't know this, that, and the third, but, um, obviously somebody outside of the household is living way beyond their means. If you feel like you are struggling to take care of your own household and you paying 50 50 and then you also got to take care of their household so it might be time to roll back them checks and cut somebody off that's all i'm saying either way girl if we ever meet don't ignore this video okay bye guys